Hello guys, it is currently January, which means it is basically Valentine's Day because every single store, as soon as Christmas is over, I literally get bombed with Valentine's Day decor, which is like, thanks for rubbing it in. But anyway, this is not a Valentine's Day build, but it's gonna look like one because. So a lot of people have asked me what my real life bedroom looks like and asked me to recreate it in Bloxburg and stuff like that. But here's the thing, right? My real life bedroom, imagine my personality, like my brand, like pink, glitter, bows, all that stuff. My bedroom looks absolutely nothing like that. I have these two Barbie prints that I just got recently and I just hung them up on my wall and I had to get rid of my bookshelf because I had to put the Barbie prints up. So my room right now is just a huge mess of clutter. So the only pink or like things in my room that match me is my keyboard, which is still working actually. So I didn't even have to replace it. My keyboard likes to scare me a little bit. It was like, oh, you know, I'm actually not going to stop working. I'm actually going to stay working. And I was like, okay, that's fine. So I have my keyboard, my Barbie prints, and then I have a pink suitcase. Those are my only pink things in my room really that match my aesthetic and then my bears. But my room is so, ugh, it's just gray. I really need to get new decor, like everything in my room. My comforter is gray. My lamp is gray. My walls are gray. My dressers are white, which is like, okay, that's pretty cool. But everything else in the room is so ugly. Like it's just plain and boring. So instead of building my bedroom, we are going to build my dream bedroom. And I'm hoping in the future, I can buy some of these items and put them in my room. And then eventually my room will look like it because my room needs a lot of help. So let me show you what we're doing today. This picture has been pretty popular. If you use Pinterest, you've probably seen this picture before because I see it all the time on mine. Whenever I show it to my parents this style they're like oh you want a grandma's bedroom no this is not a grandma's bedroom guys like listen this is like prime pink floral white classy elegant timeless look for a bedroom and it's pastel i feel like this fits my aesthetic perfectly this is literally the first thing that came to my mind when i thought of a dream bedroom so i was like you know what i'm gonna build this i just feel bad for my future husband because i'm going to architecture school which means i will be building designing and decorating my entire house when i get older and he will have no say i want a pink toaster we're getting a pink toaster i want a pink oven we're getting a pink oven like this is not up for discussion i already have stuff saved for my future house whenever i buy one on my pinterest so like the husband gets no say this is a pink collar job pink collar do you know what that means no this means it's my job <laughs> The only issue though with this bedroom is I can only see one side. So we're kind of just gonna work off of what we see and then build the rest. Okay, this is actually gonna work out really good because I just found this lamp right here. I just found the exact decal for it. And then this curtain also found the decal for it. I believe I can still find some more. So this might be a really spot on rebuild. Here's our decal collage at the moment. This is gonna be the framing of the bed. So the way I was gonna make this look as realistic as possible was I wasn't gonna use a regular bed and I was gonna do a something custom. So what what I did was I took a basic shape and then I put a decal over it to kind of mimic the back. What is it called? The bed thing? Backboard? Headboard? That thing of the bed. And I wanted to make sure I had the pattern. So I got the decal for it. And yeah, I just did that all around the bed. I did it on other basic shapes and then I would just move them into the floor. So it was on the sides of the bed too. But let's just talk about the evolution of a dream bedroom. If you asked me what my dream bedroom was, say in 2010, it probably would have been like a neon pink bedroom with One Direction stickers all over the wall. I used to have in my old bedroom, I had this sticker of Louis on my wall and I put it right above my bed So every night I was like, oh my god, my boyfriend's right above my bed Like I was kind of mentally insane as time moved on There was that neon green and teal phase where everyone wanted super neon whatever And then it progressed into ever after high and if you don't know what ever after high is It's basically it's very similar to monster high The reason ever after high was canceled was because of descendants which yes Those are good movies, but I love ever after high and they canceled it and they don't sell the dolls anymore Which is so sad ever after high was about all the daughters and the sons of the famous princesses and villains. There was like Apple White, Daughter of Snow White, Raven Queen, Daughter of the Evil Queen. So that's kind of how Descendants got their whole thing. They basically took that brand and then Ever After High was gone. So yeah, that would have been my bedroom after that. And then Frozen came out in 2013. So my room at one point was pastel purple and I had Frozen stickers all around the wall. So we really went to a lot of different extremes, but they were all surrounding very vibrant colors. And now my room is just gray. What happened? That's the genuine question. We went through many eras, just like Taylor Swift. Also, I do want to talk to you guys about the future of my channel for this year. So last year, 2023, my entire goal for that year was just to be consistent on YouTube. Obviously, the content mattered, but I really just wanted to make sure I got myself into that rhythm of uploading weekly, not slacking off, not being unproductive. So that's what the goal was that year. But now in 2024, I really want to make sure every video I put out is something really high quality. So some examples of this would just be my dream house video, build commentary. I just really don't want to just post to say I'm posting. So I don't know if that's going to affect 
the weekly schedule, but I found myself in 2023, I would be struggling to find an idea for the week or I couldn't finish in time. So I would rush the video and then it just kind of takes down the quality of my channel because it's not something that I would be posting. It's just, I'm posting it because I don't want to miss a week of uploading. So I think this year it's still going to be weekly uploading. Occasionally there's probably going to be like a one week missed upload or something if I'm working on a bigger project, just because I really want to elevate the quality of my videos and builds. Some weeks I don't have ideas or some things I can't finish in that week. So I would just rather not upload than upload something that's just stupid. I'll give you an example, right? So my deleting plots video, that was literally such a filler video. If you couldn't notice the one minute, five minute and 10 minute challenge, that was a filler video too. And I'm just not proud of them. They're just so low effort. I'm debating on privating them because they're just so bad. I know you guys love weekly uploads and I want to keep weekly uploading. So I, I still will, but occasionally there'll probably be a little gap just a week, but I'm not going to disappear. I'm still uploading. Like guys, do not worry. We are staying consistent 2024 too. <laughs> Oh yeah, how did I do that? Fun fact, I actually bought the comforter and when I got it, it did not look how it actually was sold online. Cause online it looked super puffy and ruffled. But then when I got it, it was not like, it was so flat and it had no body. I was like, what the heck? So I returned it. <laughs> Nobody asked. Here I'm just adding some super cute Kohat Lana Del Rey decals, AKA the actual stuff that was in the room of the image that we don't have in Bloxburg. <laughs> some reason i get into the most weird situations which is like what why which is horrible in the moment but then after it happens i'm like wait i can tell this in a youtube video so it doesn't matter yesterday was new year's eve i was going out with my friends and my family to this place and basically you have to buy tickets beforehand because there's food and there's like drinks and all that stuff on the ticket it said you had to be 21 plus and guys i did not know this i'm 19 because someone bought me the ticket right so i didn't get to see the ticket or any of that stuff and all of my friends that were going were also 21 so they didn't have to worry about this i was the only one that was 19 now mind you on new year's eve places check ids and all that stuff because people will try to sneak in with fake ids and certain things just because it's a thing like people do that all the time to get in anyway fast forward we are about to leave the house to go to this place and it's 30 minutes away so we get in the car and like 15 minutes there someone looks at the ticket and they go oh wait it says 21 plus noelle you're not 21 i'm like oh and we knew someone who worked there and she was like yeah they had a whole meeting on not allowing anyone who's under 21 to get in even if you weren't drinking so i was like uh oh this is not good they're like okay guys we're gonna do this fake plan where we're gonna pretend noelle lost her id and we're gonna all yell at her like it's actually staged one of my siblings was like noelle always acts flustered when something bad happens so noelle just do that and i'm like okay so we were just like getting ready to do all this so we get to the place mind you i was like preparing for the worst because they were like yeah you're not gonna get in like you need to find a way to get home and the thing is we all drove in one car so there was no way for me to get home so i was texting my friend i was like hey can you pick me up like hypothetically but the thing is it was 30 minutes away so it's so out of the way and it's like a huge problem but somehow they did not check ids which was so good they only checked the ticket which was good so i got in i was in fact the youngest person there they did not know so i was good but that stressed me out so bad on the way there i was like i don't want to go anymore this is too much like this is scary if you guys don't know when i did my face reveal i have this light which is super bright it's like an led light it's really good for taking pictures or anything because it just gives you really good lighting at any time of the day so i brought it with me and my friends were like let's go take pictures outside and mind you this restaurant we were at was like full glass so everything was open so you could see everything going on outside so we brought this really bright led light outside and we turned it on and we were just taking pictures like social anxiety is afraid of us i do not care there were cars driving by and there were people just staring at us in the restaurant like what are these people doing because mind you a lot of the people there were kind of like in their 30s and 40s and we were pretty young compared to everyone else they're probably just like this generation of kids are so weird <laughs> as you can see in the picture here the bed has bows all over it i have 32 bows to work with so this is this is good i'm gonna put these all over the bed right now this is what we have there's no bows on the bed it just looks super plain the only issue is because the update's gone i can't copy paste everything so i'm gonna have to manually place all of these so i'll put one bow there another one there okay i think it actually does look somewhat decent i think the more i put the better it'll look all right i'm gonna ask you guys a question do you guys like when i talk about my personal life or stories or do you prefer chill rants about random stuff or do you like both or do we like everything
everything or maybe i should do a thing where like you guys ask me a question and then in my next video i answer it while i'm building so it's like a weekly questionnaire sort of thing also guys we need to talk about the struggle of having a birthday right after christmas because so my birthday is on january 21st which is in oh my god i'm gonna upload on my birthday okay anyway here's the issue right so like christmas just happened and my friends are asking me what i want for my birthday but there's nothing else i want because i just got everything for christmas right so i don't know what to ask for which is like first world problem whatever but i just feel bad because they're like what do you want and i'm just like um i don't know i feel like people also people who have christmas birthdays definitely get gypped for their birthday their people are like oh you get double the presents but no you don't because you have to wait an entire year to get your present because say you had a birthday in july you get like a second christmas for your birthday and you get presents so you get double and then you can think about it again for a long time of what you want where if your birthday is in december you get all those presents at once and then you have to wait a whole entire year before you get anything else oh i just got an idea what if i put bows on the curtains this is actually just me procrastinating making anything else in the bedroom because i just like this front wall we should make bows a regular item instead of a christmas item because bows can be used for anything it's not just christmas but anyway back to the christmas birthday thing i feel like it's kind of obvious i was born during christmas time because my name is noel i was supposed to be born in december but i was i was stubborn and i decided to not be born until january so that's why my name is noel if you didn't know it's french for christmas i don't know if that was done on purpose or not but yeah <laughs> Also, this grass is kind of growing on me. It's giving Roblox Studio base plate, and I feel like it's pretty for the background. So if you're wondering why I put this over the regular curtain, it's because without this curtain, this looks so dark. Except I'm mad because it doesn't go all the way down to the bottom. I'll cover it up with something so you can't tell. Trust. Also, has anyone seen that new rom-com, Anyone But You? I'm gonna see it in a few days, and I'm actually looking forward to it. I've heard a lot of good reviews about it, so I think it is a good movie, but I haven't watched it yet. But I do know the two actors, because Sydney Sweet the girl in the movie she's from euphoria which that show was really good and then the guy was in another rom-com i forgot the name of it and he was also in top gun the new movie which that was such a good movie if you haven't watched that go watch it it was so good also this is supposed to be a suitcase okay oh yeah my friend ruby wanted me to showcase her wonderful bookshelf that she made and then over there we have brownstone apartments or something whatever he's doing anyway i'm kind of just winging this part because i don't know what the side of the bedroom looks like i think this is the most detailed and cluttered i've made a build in such a long time but i do like it though literally i think at this point everything in this build is just gonna be a decal like it's getting a little questionable and then for the rest of the footage i was just building and finishing up the build just adding very tiny little details to make it more complete and full so it looks like a bedroom and yeah now it's time for the tour i have finished the build it is now time for the grand reveal the value is 95k which for one bedroom is a little questionable but i blame decals and basic shapes because that's literally all i used for this room but here here we go. Oh my gosh. Why did I go so crazy? I went super detailed, which is usually something I don't do. I don't usually go this crazy with decals and decor because I like to keep it concise and simple, you know, just so it's not too cluttered. But with this build, I think it needed that clutteredness and it looks really good. I really love the bow comforter that I did. And then we have the custom pillows and custom curtains and just so much custom stuff with decals. And it really tied in well with the build. These two walls were kind of just like me improvising because I didn't know what to put here i mean i saw this corner in the picture but that's all i got so for here i just put more storage and bookshelves and that sort of thing because in my dream bedroom that's kind of what i would be looking for lots of books and pink stuff so we have the fake back wall frame i just want to look at like look at this guys look how cool the bed frame is it's all decals we have plushies over here because i love bears and this mirror the ceiling was improvised i didn't really get to see the ceiling in the picture so i just did a elevated one because it looked a little better and yeah so many decals bro but it looks so cool. But yeah, this is what it looks like. I hope you guys like the end result. I'm really happy with it. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. You know you love me. XOXO. French Roses Girl.